Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you from my uh, brother's home in San Antonio. Um, if you've never seen my channel before, I do sewing tutorials, pattern reviews, and everything sewing. So today I want to talk to you about the Sunday Romper from Love Notions. And what I love about that pattern is the neckline. And as you can see, I'm wearing uh, actually a classic tee with that neckline today. And it's a kind of a wide V in the front, but also in the back. And it's a very flattering neckline. So one of the things about wearing a jumpsuit is that when you pull it on over your hips, you can stretch out the neckline depending on your fabric. Sorry about the bird noise. <laughs> I didn't bring my little mics with me, so apologize. The bird is taking center stage here. <laughs> but anyway, um, one of the things that can happen is that will stretch out over time depending on your fabric. So what I like to do is add some clear elastic to the neckline, which it won't show, but what it, what it does is it keeps the seam in really good shape and not stretched out. So you do not stretch the elastic while you're applying it. You just apply it to the seam allowance and then it'll strengthen your neckline. So right now I'm going to show you a clip that I did a while ago on how to strengthen that neckline with clear elastic. So I have my neckline all stitched um, and pressed, but I have not top stitched it. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to flip it over this way. Um, you want the clear elastic to be on the bottom be just for comfort so it's not rubbing against your skin all the time. Um, so I just take right off the roll Leave a good two or three inches past the V. I'm gonna set my machine for a zigzag, only I'm gonna go a little bit narrower, like about a two and a half width. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just zigzag this onto the seam allowance. Do not stretch it, because that will make your neckline all wavy and weird. All you wanna do Just get that started and then I'll go just really easily. So that's all you want to do is get that elastic onto the seam allowance. And keep it on the seam allowance and don't stretch it. Don't stretch it at all. Just go all the way around and with this v-neck I do two pieces I do you know halfway and then start again on the other half just so you don't have to you know turn it with the V or anything and it doesn't have to be anything spectacular just so it's on there and it's not um, going past the seam you don't want to go over where you your seam is or you'll end up with some puckering or something and you don't want that. Just keep going and I'm not stretching it. Um, all you want it to do is give it some strength so that when you pull it up and off, it just gives it a little bit extra recovery. Just give it a little bit of extra recovery. So that when you're pulling it on and off, it'll be just that much stronger. And you have to get a little tedious with this. So once in a while it wants to slide off. Just have to go slow.
Okay, so now I'm at the end there. I'm at the one point of the V there, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. So you just want to go all the way to that V, and then you're going to do the same thing going back the other way. It doesn't matter if you start with the front or the back, and remember, keep it on the seam allowance. And I just let it put the, put the roll on the floor and just pull it as it comes. And I'm not stretching it at all. Just, just making it flat is all. This is also good to do on knit waistband, uh, like uh, gathered waistbands for knits. It's a way to strengthen strengthen the seam that's going to be taken on and off a lot. There's some threads here I didn't get. I wish I could be one of those sewers who got every piece of thread during construction. I always have one or two. I've got a snip here and there. Not as neat as I should be, I guess. No stretching. If it starts to go whopper jaw, just lift up your presser foot and put it back right. It doesn't really matter because it's going to grab it anyway, most likely. All right. And then you're done there. You're just going to cut off the ends that you of the elastic. You have your elastic sewn on your neckband, so you're just going to go ahead then and do the normal top stitching um, that you would do to, to put down your neckband. And once you do that, you can see that the um, the elastic is pretty much just enclosed right in the seam so it's not going to rub on you or anything you're not even going to know it's there except that it's got a whole lot of extra recovery you can stretch that and it comes right back that's it it just does goes a long way for pulling that over um, larger hips it is really great all right, so hopefully that helps you uh, with your jumpsuits. And you can really do that to any seam that you want to be stronger. It's a really great tool that's out there. People think elastic is just for gathering, but it is not. It can actually strengthen any seam that you need to be strengthened, especially in a knit. All right, so another thing I would like to tell you is about putting this neckline on other patterns. So I really enjoy putting this neckline on classic tees. This is one of the examples that I have that I have done that with. You could put it on a Terra tunic. You could put it on a laundry day tee. You could put it on a La Bella Donna. Uh, you could put it on a Forte. The list goes on. You could actually add this neckline to almost any knit pattern um, and just it just goes on and on. So definitely, if you love this neckline like I do, go ahead and try that and you will not be sorry. So anyway, the link to the pattern is in the description. Go ahead and click that link. Also, I have a code in the description that will give you an extra 10% off. All right, have a wonderful day. I will be back with some more sewing tips in the next video. Happy sewing!